tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Computer animation. Computer Started with animation. What you've just seen is a sort of real-time rendering. It's not real-time, it's uh, it's actually not real-time at all, but that's what it's sometimes called. It's actually viewport rendering, and uh, it was rendering this scene here. Uh, if you're interested, all the five objects here in the scene, except for the ground plane, are made with this icon here. And you can uh, random create random objects uh, of the same uh, super ellipse group here, and uh, even this one is one. So it looks that odd here. For example, this one you can duplicate it, Control D, and move it away from the from the origin, and then go back to that one because it still has the history, so it knows where it comes from. And uh, here you go to Poly Super Shape, and then you click on random until you have something interesting like this or this for example uh, but I wanted to talk about depth of field and I did several tutorials involving depth of field I think even I made one where you can automatically measure the distance to your uh, object in focus from the camera uh, basically this is how you go about it you create a uh, camera from that view for example just to have a safe start and uh, the camera is called perspective 2 in my case in your case it's probably perspective 1 and um, then you go to renderer and you activate Arnold if you don't know what viewport rendering is is basically IPR rendering but you can work directly in the scene so you can move the objects around uh, and rotate them etc so I can move it around in the shadow walks with it um, that's like IPR rendering in the past I think IPR is some it's right here um, and uh, it's it's very nice to have uh, the objects pickable and uh, you can pick them in the scene and the shadow moves with them really nice Now I want to select an object which uh, should be in focus. Uh, first of all I need to pick my camera which is called perspective 1 or 2 or whatever. So uh, we need to go down to the Arnold section. You have a depth of field section somewhere up here. Where is it? Depth of field here. Just ignore this uh, uh, and go down to the Arnold section and here you enable depth of field. And you see already I had a distance, I have a distance because that's the distance which I s s thought it was. Let's go back to one of the defaults here and the aperture size by default is zero. So now I enable depth of field and I see no change obviously because we have an aperture which is zero. So when we raise this to one for example which is a drastic value, everything is out of focus. When I reduce this to zero point one, I have uh, lots of objects <laughs> which are barely visible and m most of them are, are out of focus anyway. So what I typically do now is um, uh, basically this is the proof that it works with the Arnold renderer here in the viewport. That's what I basically wanted to show you. Actually this is quite an elegant um, image here. Uh, but uh, let's deactivate the depth of field. Now you go to display and in display you have a heads-up display that's the annoying stuff uh, numbers and and letters which you see in this uh, in the scene which block your view which you'll see in a second uh, and you go to object details just remember that uh, display heads up display and object details this is what I mean it's I just hate it when it's there I just want to get rid of it um, it uh, has a, that's the uh, value which we're interested in uh, distance from camera is 0 point something because we have the camera selected so the camera sees it itself but if we want this object to be in focus for example it's at a distance of 98 that's why we saw everything blurred now let's uh, 
keep 98 in, in mind. So let's deselect that so it's gone here. Uh, so it's about 100. Now back to the perspective window and back to Arnold and enable depth of field. First of all, I will enter a value of 98 now and I enable depth of field. Now this scene looks cool. Uh, although the depth of field effect is not drastic because now I'm at a far distance with my lens here. What kind of lens is it? It's a um, focal length of 67. It's not a tele really, but um, it's a, I can be quite far away without lots of uh, distortions at the corner. So it's a nice uh, lens really. Um, now let's change the aperture to one. And you see the rest of the objects are getting slightly out of focus now. And this one is exactly in focus. And of course you can animate this parameter here, the focal distance, the focus distance as it's called, uh, in order to have this in focus and then move over here. If you move the camera closer, of course, um, this will get out of focus. And this is nice about the viewport rendering as well. I just move the camera in and this gets out of focus. This is in focus now and, that, and the other one here as well. Now this gets out of focus, this gets out of focus, and this gets into focus now. And with this, I leave you alone now. Have a good time. Bye-bye.